Have you ever felt like no matter what you did, no matter which tactic you tried, which strategy you tried, none of it seemed to be working? I've attended a bunch of webinars from people that I like, and I tried to do all their tactics, and it just seems like just nothing was working. Have you ever done that? Watched a tutorial or or watched a webinar or something like that, then you tried to implement the tactic, and it just seemed like no matter what you tried, it didn't work. I mean, I was trying all these things, and it was apparent I did not know what I was doing. Have you ever felt like that before? So after a while, I start doing things a little bit differently that allowed me to move forward in my business. And I'm going to share three of those things with you today. So after I put out a bunch of videos and I start helping people out with this thing, people will say, hey, Mario, how do you know which strategy to use? How do you know which tactic is the right tactic? How should I market my business? How do I avoid wasting time? That's the number one thing I've heard. People don't want to waste their time. They don't want to waste their efforts and give all this stuff and post on all these platforms. And then they don't see any progress. Now, before I talk about these three tips, if you stay till the end, I got a special bonus for you. There are parts to this. A couple weeks ago, I shared a video about building up your following. And there were four tips to help you build up your following. I should have already had this up. <laughs> Those tips was to pick one platform, commit to one year of continuously doing that thing, set a specific goal like subscribers or views. Don't try to do everything. Just pick one thing and focus on that one thing. So for instance, if you wanted to have more view time or more watch time, that's the only thing you would focus on and commit to that for a year, one platform. And then look at analytics. Those were the four tips for that. Then we went over a video talking about how to boost your visibility and a few tips there to reiterate. Don't try to be everywhere at the same time. Just pick one place and be there all the time. Then I talked a little bit about optimizing your SEO strategy because it still works and also use the same handles and the same logos and colors so that if you're doing a bunch of content, your branding is the same. Now that brings us to today's video and the tips that we're going to talk about today. Let's jump into the tips. A lot of people lack direction and they have a fear of if I do this tactic or this strategy, is it going to work for my business? And that's a hard question to answer. So to help you avoid wasting time or wasted efforts, the first tip is focus on targeted marketing. What does that mean? Let's say if you were a real estate agent and you were selling real estate, right? You would not market to everybody that sells real estate. What would be better is if you said, hey, everybody that, that has $10,000 or less, so you're only dealing with people that have 10K or less, and it's the first time buying a property, right? That's going to be a lot more targeted and specific group of people than it is to just say everybody that sells real estate real estate so that's what you want to do you want to make what you're offering the, the stuff that you're teaching appeal to a very small audience you'll get more of an impact more reach that way or you could say maybe i'm only going to focus on people who do commercial deals a commercial property so you would only be de dealing with people that have like a certain amount of money or only people that want to do commercial deals. You're not dealing with residential. You're not dealing with with, you know, multiplex. You're just dealing with one specific group. That's going to help you get more results. Step two is to track and analyze performance metrics. And these metrics is not like what I was talking about when I said look at your analytics. For instance, if you're doing YouTube, you want to look at the analytics weekly. But I mean, focus on one key metric. So for instance, I'll make an example. If you were a YouTube creator and you were looking at your analytics weekly, right? I, it's That's a rat's nest. Have you ever looked, <laughs> have you ever tried to go to your YouTube page and look at the analytics? It's crazy in there. It's so much information. So how do you choose what to look at? How do you choose which analytics, right? So for instance, I would pick one that could be I would choose, I would filter out all videos that have 50% watch time. Those are the only metrics I would look at when I'm looking at my analytics, right? So only videos that have at least 50% watch time. So now I know, okay, these videos I'm going to look at. And based on these videos, I'm, I see that that's working. I'm going to take my future strategy and I'm going to apply what worked in those videos to my future strategy. So just key performance metrics, not everything. Right. Because that can be overwhelming if you try to look at all the analytics and take in all the factors. Just focus on one and let that be your focus. And the third thing is something that a lot of people already know to do. A lot of people say to do. I've even showed people how to do this, and that's to create a good lead magnet. Right. Because speaking to people, getting people to see that they have a problem and you being able to serve and help them solve the problem. They have to know that they have the problem. And then even if they 
know that they have the problem. They got to be they have to know that you exist. And you do that by you creating something like a lead magnet that's going to help them figure it out. A lot of people don't create good lead magnets. First of all, I want to mention that everybody always wants to buy things. So if you come to a person that's ready to buy, they won't feel like you're burdening them. I'll make an example. I moved into my house probably about six months ago and we didn't have any pest problems. But as soon as you buy a new house, maybe you guys have ever, haven't ever ever went knocking door to door like trying to sell things. But when you move into a new house, there's a ton of people that will come knock on your door and I get upset. Why are these people knocking on my door trying to sell me stuff, right? So they come in all kinds of things. Do you do you need your yard cut or do you need all kinds of anything you could think of? They come and sell it to you and it's just irritating, right? But I started having problems with like, I don't know, spiders and a bunch of just little little uh pests, right? So a guy comes to my door and he says, hey, you know, I got a pest control company and I'm and I've serviced all the houses in the area. Do, you know, were you interested in looking at something like that? Now, I didn't view that person as bothering me because I had it had become a problem and I needed somebody to look at it. So my point in saying that is that no matter what you do, somebody is looking for that solution. And when you create a lead magnet. You get people that that are telling you, thank you, I need this solution. So when they give you their, their email address, they are warm leads. They're already telling you, I want what you have. And you can do this based on feedback from your subscribers or things that you hear in, in Facebook groups or you can go to Quora or YouTube. Right, All these problems that people are having, they'll type it in the search bar. You can do the same thing. So whatever your topic is or niche is, you can go into the search bar and type it up, see what comes up at the top of the list. Those will be the things that you can create a lead magnet on. So you don't have to guess. You already know they're looking at it and you can focus on one thing. So now you have these three tips. How do you implement it? A book is just some paper with words on it. But when you start to read the things that are on those pages and you start to implement it, it becomes a plan. So you need a plan. A lot of people know what they want to do. They know they have an idea, but they don't know how to organize it. They don't know how to plan it. So. Um, I wrote this book. This book is available on Amazon, but I want to give this to you for free. But it, it is a plan. So if you're interested in getting a plan on how to implement some of the stuff we're talking about in this video and some of the other videos I create, you can get that free at bit.ly forward slash coached biz like you see on the screen. But the thing is, it's not it's not us not having the information. It's a bunch of stuff available on YouTube right now. It's a bunch of stuff available everywhere. Right. Information is free. The thing is, you don't want to be searching for, you know, hours on end for, you know, 20 minute video to find the thing you need at minute, you know, 15. Right. So everything that you need for a plan or organization is all in this book. And uh, it just cuts down the time that you have to try to search for all these things. Even I have all these things on YouTube, a bunch of videos that can help you with all these steps. But this book is a plan that covers it's like a bird's eye view of the whole thing of how you would start and build your business. So also, when you sign up for this, there's some videos that show you how to implement that plan. So just that's my gift to you. Um, I hope this video has helped you. And if it has helped you, all I ask is that you share it. And you know what we always ask in every video. Please subscribe, uh, like the video, leave me a comment and tell me if you like this video and if it helped you. And then other questions that you might have dealing with your online business or whatever it could be. Writing a book. I have tutorials on that because I've already written a couple books and published them. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I appreciate it. Peace, blessings and prosperity. I'll see you in the next video.